Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anissa. I am the crafty author and today we're going to do a little bit of some sewing chat, some sewing talk Tuesday like we used to do. I'm going to show you things that I've worked on um, throughout the week and then I am going to be doing a craft room update. So you do not want to miss that. So that will happen at the end of this video. We're gonna just flip the camera and we're gonna talk about some things that I have going on. I wanna show you some things that I've made. I wanna show you some things that I've purchased. And um, we're just gonna have a, a fun little chat time. Okay. Okay, so I worked on this um, actually yesterday, which is just a little tiny little bag that I was playing with. Um, it turned out really, really cute. It didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to, but um, it turned out good enough. So what I've gone ahead and done with this one is I've just got my scissors and my seam ripper in here for right now. Um, I'm still working on this pattern and I need to get it perfected. And so I made a few mistakes with it, but overall, I mean, it works. It does what it needs to do, but it can still be a little bit better so I'm still working on this once I get this figured out I will show you how to make one as well um, but I'm not happy with where it's at just yet so the other one that I wanted to show you though that I'm really proud of um, and I did post this on my Instagram it was in my Instagram reels it was on my Instagram um, stories was this really cute makeup bag that I made for myself um, this is Harry Potter, the Harry Potter um, vinyl from Whimsical Fabric Designs. That's where I got this from. And this is where I put my own personal makeup. <laughs> so this is actually, this is my real makeup bag. So, but it, you can see it holds everything. It holds my makeup sponges. Um, the primer, chapsticks, um, extra mascara. <laughs> it holds everything. And it does have, um, I lined it. I'm gonna put some chapstick on because my lips are dry real quick. It has Harry Potter lining in it. Now that is a cotton lining. I used a rainbow zipper and I used the zipper pull, the Mickey Mouse zipper pull in Rainbow um, by Cam Snaps, which is where I got that from. Super cute. So I wanted to share that with you because I love this bag. I'm so happy with this bag. Um, so just a cute little makeup bag that I made for myself. All right, moving along, um, I actually had a friend of mine who is actually a viewer here on YouTube who let me know about this awesome sale that Amazon was having on Pelon 910 Sew-In um, Interface. And this kind of interfacing is really good for like if you're doing quilt as you go, um, string blocks, or if you're just doing foundation piecing, it's it's really great for that. But this bolt, I believe this is 10 yards. Yes, hang on, I'm gonna tell you, 20 by 10, 5.99 for this bolt. That is a steal. So I ordered two of this came from Dime and these are the hoop and press pads. These are so cool. I cannot wait to do a tutorial with these, um, but they are for pressing when you are doing like applique. Um, they're wool mats, but I'm going to pull them out and show you what they look like because if you're interested in getting them yourself, you can. So they are hoop and press pads. Um, they fit most standard hoops and it's a half inch thick wool felt cut to fit standard embroidery hoops. 
You can use it for in the hoop projects when pressing on the back of the hoop is required. It's great for pressing fusible applique from the back of the hoop. It's a non-slip surface. It holds your hoop and your um, pad in place. It supports the embroidery stitch removal. We all know how hard that is sometimes. And they're just kind of handy to have around. And they come in this bundle has a five by seven, a six by 10, an eight by eight, and an eight by 12. Awesome. I, I'm serious, I can't wait to use these. So. Let's unwrap, you can see what they look like. I wanted to unwrap these with you so you could see. I always like to show you what things look like. So here you can see, and you can see the thickness here. Look at that. And that's a rubber backing. So you can work on your applique that way. There's a smaller one. This is the eight by eight, I do believe. So this is a great bundle. I will link below to this um, in the description box so that you can grab some for yourself. Um, even if you don't have an embroidery machine, this is a really great set to have just because you can you always use that for pressing down like your quilted pieces and whatnot. Like if you're working with flying geese or um, prairie points or whatnot, this really helps to hold the heat in when you're doing that. So things are moving right along and Everything is still way ahead of schedule. Tomorrow, the um, tile is going to be put up in the bathroom. Um, and then after that, on Monday, they'll start doing the trim around the doors and around the walls on the floor. And then the flooring will go in. So all of the lights are up, everything is up. The basement has been painted, it looks fantastic you'll see that in this video that I'm gonna post um, we're getting close we're getting so close I'm so so excited I can't even hardly stand it to be honest and I'm just gonna go ahead and put the um, update to the craft room starting now okay so here we are in the basement I'm gonna turn the lights on. Okay, ooh, gotta be careful. So, what has happened is we now have drywall up and as you can see, things have been taped and now we're getting ready to go into texture, which will happen actually tomorrow. So behind that wall, if you remember, is where all my stuff is. Everything has been tarped. Back there, my husband and I tarped um, before they did this, and then they tarped as well. So there is that, just to show you. Um, I got to see what the flooring is gonna look like today. I got to pick that out, and I'm super excited. You guys, that's gonna be amazing. I just, I cannot wait. This is the bathroom. Um, so we have our we're gonna get the light fixture for that. It's gonna be an LED light. This is where the vanity is gonna go straight ahead. Over here, I've shown you, this is the bathtub shower combo. Um, they have to put wet board up in here still because, well, you know, you have to have wet board with plumbing. Um, and then here is where the toilet will go. And as you can see behind here is where all of the stuff is still hanging out in my storage area. It's so weird to have a storage area. We need to leave the windows open to clear out all of the dust and stuff that's in here. I gotta tell you, I cleaned my house this weekend and um, hooey, the amount of dust is insane. So it took me <laughs> a very long time to clean. Um, as you can see, so we now we have a ceiling. So there's no more open and exposed beams like there used to be. That used to be one of those poles that I had. They've wrapped that, put drywall around it. Um, these are vents. 
Isn't this just amazing how far along it's come? Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait until this space is done. So I'm gonna show you kind of a, from a length view here. Don't mind Jax, he's down here with me. <laughs> Always watching his mama. So there is the other corner. Oh good, I got him out of here. And here's more. So this is where, you know, my computer is gonna go and my office. So I'm really starting to miss my space um, because I, I realized that this weekend when I was upstairs and I was cleaning and I was in the office and I was cleaning things up in there and it just seemed like all my stuff was crammed in like one small space or two small spaces actually because of the dining room and in the office that we're currently using. So we're getting close and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to do it. Um, but anyway, that is the update today. All right, so I had hoped to get down here and show you all the video from last week, but now that this is done, I'll just add this into the video today. Here's another update. They have the texture on the walls and up on the ceiling. Oh, what an incredible mess this was. Um, I'm glad this is this part is done. <laughs> um, so now it's ready for paint here um, on these walls. I'm really happy with the way that things are turning out. I'm just kind of giving you the walkthrough here to show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when they put up walls in your house, in case you've never seen that process before. Remember when this was all unfinished and this was my quilt wall? Crazy, isn't it? Craft room update. Check this out. The walls have been primed. Tomorrow they get painted. We are just about there. How exciting. Look, all the way around. White walls. Yay. We're almost there, you guys. I'm so excited. I cannot wait until I get to set up my new studio down here. Oh, it is going to be so exciting. And um, I just can't wait to show you all how this is gonna look. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have my space back so that I can create because it is so hard to be creative at my dining room table after being down here for so many years. Okay, look what went up today, guys. So today is August 31st, and the tile is on the walls in the shower. That's right, with blue dots. Amazing. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week, and keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.